Mention Kelly in 2016. Chris Pizzolo and Vasion app in an interview to promote our new NBC program. Former Fox News sensation Mention Kelly said, Must everything be political? Everything, everything the thought wasn't straight. Mention Kelly today debuts on Monday at 9 a.m., and the host is out there trying to tell people that she's not transplanting her Fox News persona to another network. It's newsy, and it's talky, she told John Coblin of The New York Times. In front of a studio audience of about 150 people, reports Coblin, Kelly will interview celebs and regular people and will not obsess over politics. That, indeed, will be a break from the Fox News days, when Kelly became famous for eviscerating guests for lame answers to questions about the latest news out of Washington. She could be harsh and unyielding, though rarely, if ever, bitter and nasty. And unlike a lot of her stiff peers across the cable dial, she came off as comfy and genuine in front of the camera. The transition to AM Bonamy, accordingly, may not be terribly stark. Which isn't to say that it'll be easy or that Megyn Kelly today is a luck. Far from it, there's plenty of cause for skepticism that the leap will work out, if only because what Kelly formerly did and what Kelly will be doing are so different, if not downright incompatible. At Fox News, her job was to please a loyal and very specific audience, one that delighted in seeing representatives of the left stripped of their talking points. For a more extreme and far less honest version of this programming recipe, just tune into any old edition of Tucker Carlson tonight. The target audience at NBC is trickier to secure and maintain, as Kelly showed this summer for her retinkschlinged Sunday night news magazine Sunday Night with Megyn Kelly. That show is scheduled to return in the spring. In the meantime, Kelly faces insane competition from Live with Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest for her new morning program. As Coblent notes, there's a force field of skepticism out there among TV types who know that folks such as Anderson Cooper and Jane Pauley have failed to crack the formula for solo daytime talk and television. Whatever, whatever, whatever Kelly is a talented and hardworking television individual the Eric Wimple blog will not be betting against her. Nor do we doubt her politics fatigue. At the risk of repeating ourselves, however the incursions of Trump talk into insane in spaces aren't some conspiracy of editors at the New York Times and the Washington Post. They stem from a collective survival instinct. The times that Kelly seems to fantasize about, when we could go hours and hours without worries about our political system, are disappearing from the rearview mirror. When the president talks about responding to the North Korean regime with fire and fury, well, that's a tough topic to avoid. As the crazy from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue inevitably heads skyward, watch for Megyn Kelly today to inch a bit toward the Kelly file. A glimpse of the Fox News Kelly is peeking through her promo round. There are so many reporters who are completely biased against Trump, it's absurd, Kelly said in one of her interviews. An echo emerges back in May 2016, Kelly ripped the Eric Wimple blog with these words, Eric Wimple of the Washington Post has made no secret of his hatred for Trump calling him a bigot and a misogynist. Right for those judgments, we relied in part on Trump's treatment of Megyn Kelly, 